Hi, this is AJ from WPExplorer.com and this is just a quick video showing you how the front end editing works in the total WordPress theme. So you can easily create your pages um, and see your changes live. So when I go in and add a new page, um, you should see right here there's a back end editor and front end editor. And you should have these as long as you activated the Visual Composer plugin, which is included for free with the theme. So I'll go ahead and just click front end editor right here. And that's going to open up the page editor but with this section right here so you can edit it live. And so the way it works is you want to start in by adding an element and you should usually start out by adding a row. And so whenever you hover over it, right here's your new row, you'll see these options right here. So you can click on this, that'll give you the ability to right click here and here you can have, um, here you see all your row settings so you can change let's say the design. Um, if you want to add in a custom background, a video, border, margin, or padding. And then right here is so you can add in columns to your row. And this of course is to duplicate and this one is to delete your row. So I'm going to go ahead first by um, adding in some columns. So I'm going to make this a uh, three column row. So now you can see I have this plus icon inside each column and that's so I can add my content. So I'll go ahead by just um, adding in an icon box and so I clicked in the sorry we'll go back out I clicked in that plus and that'll open up this module right here where you can choose between all the different available uh, modules to insert into your page if I go over to this last one total these are all the ones that are included with the total theme these are all custom modules I created um, specifically for this theme so I'm gonna go ahead and add in, I'm gonna add in this one right here icon box and so you can see it right here now and that's just a, a standard box with like an icon a heading and text which is very common these days on websites and so you can see how simple it was to insert it and right here you can see all the different options for it so for example I can change my design right here by changing the icon box style that could have a top icon could have an outlined and top icon I can have a box top icon and so forth I can also change the icon right here just by selecting a different one, click save, it will update it right there, or for example this one, and there it goes. Super, super simple. Let's say you can also change the icon color, click that and save, you can see it change right there. Or you can even change the size, for example I can make it really giant. There you go. And so you can see how simple it is to build up these sections on your website using the front end editor. Of course right here you can change the text so you can add anything you want click save and you'll see it live right on your site right there. Over here you'll change the heading and you can add in a URL and so forth. I'm not going to walk you through all the options for the different modules because there are so many but I did want to give you a basic idea of how the front end editing works and how simple it is. Now you can also clone elements, there you go, I just made a new one, and you can drag and drop it into different areas of your site. So as you can see right there I made three columns really really quickly, really easily with the Visual Composer. Now one of the questions I get asked a lot is how to add your portfolio items or your staff and so forth. And in other themes, um, you might not be able to so easily insert let's say a portfolio grid anywhere you want. In this theme you can. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a new row. Alright, now I'm going to add in a module. Click on total and you can see right here I have testimonials, portfolio, staff, and so forth. You can also search, for example, if I want to show my portfolio, you can type it, start typing in portfolio and you can see them right here. So I'm going to type in, or I'm going to select the portfolio grid. And as you can see here, it automatically inserted my portfolio grid and it's actually already working. So you can see there's got a filter and everything. And then again, you can go through and you can customize it. For example, I can make it three columns, save it, and you'll see it'll refresh and show it three columns. And you don't have to save it every time you change something. You can make a ton of edits and then save it. For example, I'm going to remove the category filter, and let's say I only want to show three posts. Now I click save, and you can see, oh, I'm going to hide this. You can see now I have, oops. Let me move this way. Now I have just three portfolio items and no filter. I can also, for example, hide the title, 
hide the excerpt and now I just got my three portfolio images right there um, another thing you can do is you could let's say add hovers so for example um, let's see title and category on hover I'm gonna save that let's just go here so it's out of the way and now you can see when I hover shows the title and the category um, and you can keep doing this there's tons and tons of modules of course um, there's also unlimited different layouts you could create using the composer so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this for example you don't like your three columns right there you just go ahead and click here uh, change it to two columns and update that and now you got two columns and you just can rearrange those however you want it's all really really simple um, let's say I don't want any of this I'll just go click here and delete my row again I'm going to show you another example let's say you want to show your testimonials go ahead and click testimonial grid and there's all my testimonials now let's say I just want to show one post so one testimonial I want that in one column I want to hide the filter and that's it now you can see here I just have one testimonial and so that's really cool for setting up different layouts and you can also dump that into a column so for example I want to make this two column now I've got my testimonial over to the side and I got room for something else on this side let's see um, well there really isn't much else to it it's just very very simple to use you got tons and tons of options let me show you a different one for example oh here we go um, image slider say you want a simple image slider you just click on it there Oops. let me move this up so you can see it and you can see it added a simple one and this is just so you can see one live on the site but you can edit that you can go here and you can select the exact images you want so you just click there and choose your images from the image gallery and it'll dump them in on the site and you can of course change for example the animation slideshow speed if you want it on random you can choose the exact cropping for your image heights and you can choose to display a caption or not so that's a pretty brief introduction to the visual composer and i'll be uploading a lot more videos showing exactly how to set up the different modules but i just wanted to give you a quick overview just in case you're a bit lost on how to use the theme or if you're thinking about buying the theme but aren't sure if uh, if you know enough about WordPress to use it. And I can guarantee you, you can be a beginner and you will be able to set up your site in no time.